Hey guys, welcome to the channel. For this first part of the video, I'm going to do a voiceover because it was extremely windy today. But I have this uh, 2021 Ford F-150 XL work truck. It is the single cab long box configuration. So you can see there, it just has haulage and headlights and no fog lights. There is a hole in the bottom of the grill for the intercooler because this one is a 3.5 twin turbo. So it's kind of a cool spec being a work truck with the big engine. Big as in horsepower rating. For wheels and tires, we have two 6570R17s. This one is a four wheel drive, so that's pretty nice as well. You can see there's no tint on the back window there. And the third brake light is all standard bulbs. You have to get XLT302A or higher to get LEDs. And I'm not even sure if you can get that on a single cab. I don't think so. But um, see it has the four wheel drive badge back there. I really like this angle of the truck. I think it looks really cool. A lot of people like a single cab short box, but I think single cab long box looks good as well. Standard bulbs for the taillights, turn signal, brake, and reverse bulbs are all standard. There are standard bulbs for the license plate lights as well. It does come with uh, parking sensors and a backup camera up there. Giving you guys one last little angle from this side. The window sticker, I will pop up a picture so you guys can see what that looks like. Looking under the hood, you can see we have the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. No hood liner, but it does have hood struts, which is really cool. 400 horsepower, 500 pound feet of torque. You can tell it's a 3.5 because it has the engine cover on top. It's rated at 18 city and 23 on the highway. So very solid engine choice. All right, guys, looking at the door panel on this work truck. Up here, you have a hard touch and it is hard touch right here, unfortunately. On STXs, it actually makes this uh, soft touch, but you can't get an STX in a regular cab. But coming down here, it's just all gray. Um, there's a lot of storage in here, some storage in here as well. You do have uh, power windows and power locks on this one. Looking at the seats, you have really comfortable, nice feeling seats. They feel like they should be durable in the long term. Rubber floors, uh, just regular pedals. You do have electronic parking brake and your light switches over here. Manual steering wheel. All right, here's the key. It's just a regular style key. I'm gonna just go ahead and start it up. This has the new uh, SYNC 4 system. I just double checked. Very easy to use system, very self-explanatory. I won't go into too in depth with that. Down here you have your audio controls. Looking down even farther, just regular standard climb control. Very simple, easy to use. I'm not sure what that's for. I think that's to heat the mirrors. Oh yeah, it is. That's pretty cool. I didn't know they had that. And then you circulate down here, USB-C, USB, 12 volt. There's some more storage down there. Right here, you have a nice soft uh, console. It does not open though. And uh, some nice cup holders, place to put your phone. You can lift this up and have this as a third seat. That's pretty cool. And then you can lift up the bottom part too, I think. Yep, just like the old trucks. Got some storage under there as well. But these seats are really comfortable. And then obviously since it's a regular cab, there's nothing behind us. I'm not sure what's back there. Probably some uh, jacks and stuff. No uh, vanity mirror for the drivers. And there is a vanity mirror for the passenger, but it's not illuminated. You have just a standard mirror, not auto dimming. But you do have LED lighting up here and a glasses holder. One thing I really like though about regular cab pickup trucks that you can just look into the bed like that. So that's really cool, I like that. Looking at our gauges here, you have uh, some cool information you can go through. It is a little bit laggy though, but there is some pretty cool information you can go through there, your trips and all that stuff. Steering wheel controls just for your driver's assist, uh, lane keep and stuff like that, cruise control, audio. Then this is to control the screen and change your track, phone, so. So you have some pretty good technology for being a base truck. Glove box and that area over there. Let's see if there's a light in the glove box. I don't think so because it is a base truck. Oh, and it does have a light in the glove box. So you even get a light in the glove box on a base truck. That's nice. And then you also have a 12 volt and even more USBs over here. So you have all kinds of um, places where you can plug your phone and stuff up. 
And since the seat is manual adjusting, I just quickly moved it forward just to show you guys kind of what's behind the seat. Um, looks like there's some stuff over there, your gas cap filler and stuff, but you can't really put a whole bunch of stuff back here. Maybe just a few little things. All right, we have our four wheel drive and drive modes and stuff here, gear shifter, and let's take this truck for a quick spin. So this does have the 3.5 and it's also four wheel drive. So it's a pretty cool spec for being a base truck. But anyway, let's, uh, let's take off here. Very smooth transmission as per usual. One thing to keep in mind is that since this truck does not have power seats, it does sit up a little bit higher for the driver and passenger seat. So if you're really tall, you might be sitting up kind of high in the truck. Since I'm pretty tall, I'm sitting kind of like way up here, but um, I do like the power seat so I can move it down, but it's no big deal. Just a little bit higher in the seat. All right, guys, getting ready to come up to our stop sign. Let's put it in uh, sport mode here. There we go. Come to a stop. We'll just give it some throttle, see what happens. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, it's, it's really fast. It'll, it'll spin the tires pretty easily. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to rev it too high because look, it only has five miles on it, but <laughs> in sport mode, it really wants to rev it out. So on the way back, we'll do a little uh, dip into the throttle with normal mode and see how, see how it is. So let's switch back into normal here. Another cool thing about these regular cab uh, long box and short box trucks, short box would be even better, is the turning radius is really good. So you can really uh, maneuver it very easily in parking lots and stuff. It feels just like a normal vehicle. It doesn't feel like you're in a big truck. So I do like that about it. The steering wheel does require a little bit more turns. Like normally F-150s, they stop um, like facing towards the bottom. This one goes all the way around another full turn. So that is a little bit annoying because you make like quick turns. Um, you can't just like do one handed turns. You have to actually like go around if that makes sense. So like turning in here. Okay, I was able to do this one one handed but I had to really put it over here like this. And I thought I'd show you guys on the steering wheel. So this is straight. It goes all the way around. Right here is where normally other F-150 stop, like right here. And then the Platinum's like with the speed sensor of the steering, sometimes they even stop like right here. But this one you have to go all the way around, all the way to the top right there. So it does make it a little bit harder, but to do like quick maneuvers, but no big deal. But uh, we're in normal now. It's... Ooh. <laughs> okay. Let's turn this corner and dip into some more throttle here. Ooh, okay, yeah, it just wants to go, but I, I don't want to do that with this truck. It's not like the 2.7 where like it kind of gives you a lot of its power down low. The 3.5, you do have to put your foot into a little bit more, but then it really gets going. Ooh. Yeah, it's really fast. There is no four auto. You have to step all the way up to a Lariat, which you can't get in a regular cab to get four auto. So I do wish that they gave four auto to the more normal, or I shouldn't say normal, the more lower trim levels, because that'd be really nice. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my quick little video on this F-150 work truck, uh, single cab long box. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, Check out my new Instagram channel I created for this YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.